Hey there, this is a quick video to show uh, how to do the tabs uh, in Lightburn. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, so you make your shape. Typically this is going to be used on the outside of your, your outside cutting shape to hold it in place. Like if you're cutting a whole bunch of objects, um, let's say you're cutting a, a whole bunch of uh, circles out. Let's delete this one here. Uh, you're going to delete a whole bunch of circles. Um, so we'll just make a little quick array of these. We're going to get uh, two columns. So we'll do three by three. And we'll set uh, some spacing here. Let's see what we do here. Uh, so we'll just uh, make an array there. So we have a bunch of those. Now we want to have, when we cut this out, we don't want the pieces to fall out. Um, so we want to stay in the in the thing. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go to your uh, layer properties. So double click on your layer. And here you're going to turn on this tabs and bridges. And typically you can set them to automatic. It's going to choose uh, several tabs for you. The green dots is where the tabs will be. But a lot of times if you just need a real tiny amount of support, you might just... Uh, you might set it to like tabs per shape and just say like I want three tabs or maybe even two tabs just to hold it fairly in place uh, so that they break out easily. I find that uh, 0 0.5 millimeters is a good tab width uh, but you may have to play with this a little to figure out what tabs work for you. You may also have to play with your uh, cut power to make sure that you're not uh, cutting all the way through because the tabs will if the tabs are too small or if your cut power is um, too large, uh, what will happen is the tabs will burn through uh, because it's such a such a narrow tab. You know, too high of power will, will cut. So you can cut part way through. You can say, like, I want a tab that's 50% power uh, if you want to cut part way through to remove as much of the tab as possible. Or you can set it to zero, which means it just won't cut that part of the tab at all. Um, I hope that helps, but if you have more questions, feel free to let me know.